Okay, in this part I am just gonna record a video from beginning to end and I am going to show you how I go about the process of editing one of these files. These will have many things that probably I haven't covered just yet, but it will give you a good sense of the work that involves in editing in Camtasia. I'm gonna uh, do small um, narrations as I move forward and I am going to at this moment select my initial file I will add it at the playhead the very first thing that I would like to do is to zoom in because that is going to establish the moment in which the zoom in in which I am going to start with at the beginning of the video um, I made this error of leaving these branches out. Um, I have been fairly good at just having open what I need for my recording, so I'm gonna move these this way. And now that the zoom has been set out, this is the initial zoom for the video. I'm gonna delete the beginning part so there's no waiting period. Once that that has been done, my audio has been recorded with a fairly low volume, so I'm going to increase this to about 165%, and that is a good volume that I like to work with. So here I go. Rendering a linear video. So that is my usual introduction for the videos, and I am going to select and, re and delete all of this. Linear video. In this part, I am going to cover more detail and I'm going to zoom in to make little adjustments here. ...about how to export your final production. I am... So I make these little changes here and there. Little fixes here and there. Or you... That was by serendipity, by the way. I was not <laughs> planning to have that repeat what I was saying. And this is a little bit too much. There we go. Fixes here and there, or you engage in a full editing production of, of your video. But we are at the end of it. This part has these silences in between because I'm trying to be fairly. Um, I want. I want to do a good job at making a similar experience for Mac users and PC. PC users. But we are at the end of it and it is time to create a single video file that you're going to be able to create a single video file that you're going to be able to upload somewhere on the internet for distribution to your students. I'm going to bring the Camtasia window full in this case, since I didn't have the map exactly as I wanted, the my map exactly as I wanted, I'm going to delete all this part. And the zooming out behavior is going to happen at a later time. I'm going to bring the Camtasia window. Now that the Camtasia window has been moved forward, this is the right moment for me to apply my zoom. So I'm going to come in here, sorry, here, and I'm going to zoom up so forward and I have already opened in this view I cannot see the entire uh, production so I'm gonna now I can see the entire production and one of my previous productions how to edit multiple tracks and what I'm gonna do is just go through the process of exporting it one easy way at this moment normally I like to zoom in because that focuses the attention of the users I need to select the actual video for the controls to appear and now I'm gonna zoom in to that part there I'm gonna close this to check that everything is okay and probably I can place this a little bit better there we go process of exporting it. One easy way to export it, as you already know, is just to go through this option and all of the settings will be, in a way, decided by Camtasia. The other way to... That was not perfectly said, but it will be okay. The other way to export is by clicking on Advanced. 
Science export and in this window you're going to have this button over here where you can manipulate specifically the location now the zoom is not correct anymore um, we're missing the export button and things that can be important export. and at this moment I think that is a good moment to apply a new um, zoom in behavior and I am going to scale out so we can see the entire window that is still pretty much in and there we go advanced export and in this window you're going to have this button over here where you can manipulate specifically the location for your file and over here you're going to find four different options for your export at this moment I'm going to do another zoom in behavior to really focus ourselves on this part of the screen okay let's leave it like that then four different options for your export it could be a little bit more zoomed in there we go the first one is so I took a moment to think about what I'm gonna say because I know I'm gonna be able to delete it and options for your export the first one is to export to mp4 file and that would be the option that we are gonna be selecting if we want to distribute this and that is the option so I made one of my mistakes I thought about it and I started again so I'm gonna delete all of that part or to mp4 file and that is the option that you should select if you want to distribute your video over the internet the second option is a QuickTime movie it is not a format that is most suitable for the web anymore and it is better to choose the mp4 but that is also an option if you decide to go that way another format is an animated gif which normally is for very small productions and you do and you are able to upload an image that has multiple frames and it will play without audio or you can export only the audio very well i'm going to select mp4 and i'm going to click on the options button at this moment I want to create a zoom out behavior so I have that in my frame the video file needs to be selected for me to get this information over here and that looks about right In these options mp4 and I'm gonna click on the options button in these options in this advanced export I'm gonna click on the options button in this advanced export options you have the ability to control the frame rate which I will leave it as automatic Camtasia is going to adjust automatically to whatever content you're showing on your screen. The second, second one is the keyframe. The keyframe establishes how often the video and the audio are going to be kept in sync. So if for any reason your video is not syncing well with your audio, one way to fix that is by reducing this number of keyframes. And that will include and that will force Camtasia to establish okay. of keyframes and that will force Camtasia to establish more anchor points where your video and your audio are going to be synch synchronized 
the quality option I would always recommend to send this to the higher quality these videos are fairly small screen capturing videos are not okay another mistake it's to the higher quality screen capturing videos are normally fairly small and it is a good idea to seek the highest possible quality because at the end of the day you're going to receive a lot smaller file than if you are trying to compress a photographic quality video right now no, i don't like that sound that i made with my mouth there it goes out quality video. right now we have the current editing dimensions but you have the ability to cheat but you have the ability to choose among all these different presets and if you here it goes I'm gonna take this out a photographic quality video but you have the ability to choose among all these different presets and if you do for example if you choose these you might be able you're gonna be able the might is not appropriate is actually that you can do so I'm taking the might away for example if you choose these you're gonna be able to select among different options to how your video is gonna fit in within the window of the production <laughs> um, that was my um, sneeze. No, of the production. What I would like to recommend is that you select fit within size. And here to keep it in current. As you, as it is most probably your case, if you select current size and here to keep it in current as you so this one is going to need more work but i think it can be done quickly so i'm gonna do this and once that i'm here i'm gonna zoom in because i know that there's more precise work to do there here to keep it in current as you as it is most As it is most pro that was too close. Escape. Let's see how this works. Current. As it is most pro it sounds good. Size. And here to keep it in current. As it is most probably your case, if you select current, this will be off. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again. And you have the option to encode the audio of your recording or not. And I am assuming that you want your voice to be included in your video. So that has to be checked. Very well. So I'm going to go forward and I'm going to create a brand new file. And I'm going to place it momentarily on the desktop because it has to be checked. I'm going to take out my very well. So I'm going to go Okay. Video so that has to be checked. So I'm going to go forward and I'm going to create I'm not sure that that was right. Uh let me check again. Very Escape. Well. Yeah, because I clicked on the okay. So the very well is going to have to stay there because um, that's the moment in which I click the OK button <clears throat> and that is quite important. So I'm going to see. That has to be checked. Very well. Yeah, that didn't help either. So I'm just going to leave it. And now at this moment, I am going to probably select another 
zoom out behavior because that is a little bit too close and I'm not sure the context is well recognized so I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select another zoom in which will give me a zoom in level that is more or less similar to what I had but I'm gonna scale out so we can see the entire thing there we go probably teens a bit more that seems to be working fine very well so I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna create a brand new file and I'm gonna place it momentarily on the desktop because eventually I'm gonna delete it this is just for demonstration purposes and I'm gonna click on export Okay, that process is set to begin. So there's nothing happening here after the windows come up. So I am going to ripple delete all of that just before I start speaking again. And there it goes. As I have recommended in the past, this could be a fairly long process. So if you're trying to create videos just before the time of delivery, you might have some problems establishing well you might have some problems okay my typical repetition delivery, you might have some problems for winning this process to happen and not only this process to happen but also the uploading of your file so I would like to recommend you that you always start with a lot of time in advance because these processes are even though we're not doing any work while they take place, they do take a lot of time. So I would like to recommend you that you always start with a lot of time in advance because... In advance. Because these processes are... Okay. Recommend you that you always start with a lot of time in advance, even though we're not doing any work while they take place, they do take a lot of time to complete. So at this moment, I'm going to pause my recording and I'm going to wait for this to be at 99% to come back to do it. Okay. So now I did that. I'm gonna delete in between. Tend to come back to it. Okay, the process is almost done. Probably in the background you can hear a little bit of the computer humming, and that is because the process of rendering is quite intensive for your computer. And if you have a MacBook Pro, as I do, chances are at this moment the fan is really trying to minimize the amount of heat that your laptop is producing. We're almost there. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to seek the moment in which I start again, which still took um, some time of waiting. Okay, just the moment in which the window moves away. There it is. The window moves away and I'm ready to... Oh, I will leave all of that. Escape. That your laptop is producing. And there it goes. So at this moment you are going to be asked if you just want to close this window or if you want to reveal your production in the finder. That's what I'm going to click on right now. And here it is. My MP4 file with my multiple tracks uh, tutorial my multiple tracks um, tutorial I'm gonna delete that with my multiple tracks I'm gonna double click on it this takes time for my computer to do there's no reason why to make you wait for it Click on it, and there it is. It might be good to have a zoom out, but I have the PC part over here. Let's see. I 
adding several recordings together. Yeah, it might be good to zoom out. Let's see if we get a smart focus uh, act well here. Smart focus will guess what it is the area of the video that um, that you should be showing. And at the moment, I just want to show that there's, there we go, a QuickTime file. Let's see. I will click on it. That's the moment in which I want my zoom. Double click on it, and there it is. Adding several records. Now we can delete this part. There it is. Adding several recordings together. Very well, this took uh, quite a bit of time, but we rendered the video file. This file can be uploaded to a regular server or to, or to YouTube or Google Drive and it will work just fine as I demonstrated before. The next step is to make another export. However, in this case, I'm going to choose something that is smaller in size so I spend less time with before. The next Okay, I would like to move out to full screen in this moment. Oh, it needs to be selected. Here we go. Um, I'm not sure why it's not accepting the zoom out behavior at this moment. There it is. And for some reason, it turned out to be a lot smaller than what I wanted. So I will increase it manually. And there we go. Something like that will work fine. Oh, it still needs a little bit more work. There we go. Just fine as I demonstrated before. Hmm, this is make me wonder. Click on it. And there it is. Adding several recordings together. Very well, this took uh, quite a bit of time, but we rendered the video file. This file can be uploaded to a regular server or to, or to YouTube or Google. Yeah, let's fix that. If I don't fix it, I think that it will annoy me. <laughs> um, or, to, or to YouTube. The to a regular server or to YouTube or Google Drive. Mm, so it's set a lot faster. Be uploaded to a regular server or to YouTube or Google Drive and it will work just fine as I demonstrated before. The next... So this is not really needed. The next step is to make another export. However, in this case, I'm going to choose something that is smaller in size, so I spend less time waiting for it to render. I'm going to create a brand new project. I was hesitating about how to go about it, so I'm just... To render. I'm going to create a brand new project. There we go. I'm going to close that window. I'm going to import media. In here I uh, open a folder that normally I don't um, want to show in my distract. Uh, so I'm just going to select the right folder over here. And there we go. All of that will go up. import media and I am going to choose my news map recording. 
There we go. It's a lot smaller recording and it should take a lot less time to demonstrate things. So I am going to right click and add to the timeline at the playhead. And once again, I'm going to go through the process of exporting this video. Now this video is, the original production is about that long. So what I'm going to do is, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to split my video right here. And here I know that I made a mistake, I separated the video rather than splitting it, so here I go again. Right here. And I'm gonna delete this other part. So let's assume that this is my entire production. And I'm gonna go again to the share. Okay, let's try out zoom out again. So for sure we have the upper menus. It's very interesting how the zoom out is treating the video right now. So I'm going to end up doing a lot of these uh, zooming behavior manually, which can be done as you can see. And I'm going to go again to the share and I'm going to delete some purposes. I'm going to split my video right here. And, I'm gonna and once again, that video uh, zooming behavior is not accurate, so I'm going to correct it. Um, I'm not sure how that happened. So I'm going to go to the previous zooming behavior. Oh, but all these cuts have been done. There's very little to do now. Unless I start all over again. Go again to the share window, to the share option in the menu. So let's assume that this is my entire production and I'm going to go again. That lasted for a long time. So undo, 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 undo. Undo, 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 undo. And all of these because of one zoom in behavior. There we go. Okay, starting again. It, my multiple tracks. I'm going to double click on it. Okay, all of that can be cut. I'm going to zoom in so I can do more fine editing. And I'm going to place the zoom elsewhere. I'm leaving all of this in my recording so you know so you know the processes I go through. And there it is. In this moment of there it is, this is when I want to place a brand new zoom in behavior. Double click. And now I'm going to scale back move this and that's a reasonable showing of the video within its context adding several recordings together very well this took uh, quite a bit of time waiting for it to render it's good to listen to everything time, but we rendered the video file this file can be uploaded to a regular server or to or to youtube or so i need to fix that again the reason we need to do all those undo's is because the zoom behavior is transferred from one ripple area to the other. Regular server or to, or to YouTube or... And I'm gonna leave a little bit more after server because in the previous editing I was a little bit too tight. Regular server or to YouTube or... Google Drive and it will work just fine as I demonstrated before. <laughs> the next step is to make another export. However, in this case, I'm going to choose something that is 
smaller in size so I spend less time waiting for it to render. I'm gonna create a brand new project. Same card in the same place more or less. Once again leaving a little bit more of time. Render. I'm gonna create a brand new project. I'm gonna close that window. I'm gonna import media and once again we are in the part in which I don't want to show all those production files and I'm just gonna arrive to the location where I want to be Port media and I'm going to choose my news map recording that is a lot smaller recording and you should take a lot less time to demonstrate things. So I am going to right click and add to the timeline at the playhead and once again I'm going to go through the process of exporting this video. Now this video is the original production is about that long so what I'm going to do is just for demonstration purposes I'm going to split my video right here once again the error of separating the video audio and not really doing this other part that's where we need to cut here right here and I'm gonna delete this other part so let's assume that this is my entire production and I'm gonna go Something that I have not been doing for this specific process is that I have not been saving and normally I do. I'm not really sure why I'm not at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save these as going to create I've been fairly organized in my recording I'm going to create a brand new folder and I'm gonna name the project in the same way I named the folder Keep the cre uh, keep the create standalone project there. And now all my edits have been saved. Whew. And okay. I'm gonna go again to the share window to the share option in the menu. To the share option in the menus. Hmm to the share option and now I'm gonna so I didn't like my word menus so I struggle with it but there it goes everything is deleted share window to the share option and now I'm gonna choose export as webp now this is a moment in which I would like to zoom in Double click there to get the scale properties and just to completely demonstrate that. There we go. Share option, and now I'm going to choose export as web page. Once again, we're going to get a very similar window to the other one. But I'm not doing any zooming behavior because this turned out to be quite okay. Okay. One of the things I just checked my we gonna get I just checked my mail there, sorry. <laughs> very similar web page. Once again we're gonna get a very similar window to the other one. But one of the things hmm. I'm gonna choose a name for the file. 
support as web page. I'm going to take out all of these. I think that I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to spur my users from hearing it again. I'm going to choose a name for the file, and this is just for demonstration purposes. And one of the things that you have now is that at the time of export, not only your video will be created, but also the HTML file. And there's too much waiting time there. But also the HTML files that are going to be necessary for that video to be placed on a regular server and for it to have a controller, something that would allow you to stop, to play, and so on. So I'm going to go through these different process for you to see the type of files that you get from it. Okay, we're in the exporting option again. I'm going to delete all of these. It's going a lot faster now. I'm still going to pause and come back to it. Okay, I'm going to pause. So I'm going to make these come over here. Pause and come back to it. There it goes. And now I want to reveal it in the finder. And now what we got as a result is not only, is not a file, but... A okay, I need to do cut there. The result is not only, is not a And is, is the word that I picked up from. Got as a result is not a file, but a That was pretty seamless. A folder. And if you open that folder, you're going to realize that there's an index HTML file in there. So all of these has to be uploaded to a regular server. And when you do so, your media... At that moment, I didn't intend to open the browser, but it did. So I'm going to take that opportunity to zoom out. So I'm going to ripple delete all of that. And I am going to zoom out here so we can see the entire browser window. Let's see how this looks. That's a little bit confusing for the user, uh, probably because there's a browser window and inside the browser window, there's a browser window recording. So that might make it a little bit difficult, but um, maybe we can improve it a little. by doing that. Well, we'll see. He's going to have this play button. And when you play it, you... Oopsie, control C. And when you play it, you're going to realize that you have this controller down here in which you are able to play, pause, move the, the video to different sections, uh, mute the sound, have a timer, and so on. Okay, I'm reaching the end. Very well. So that covers the section about how to export linear videos that will run from beginning that was funny okay i'm gonna grab all of these oops yeah that's okay we're gonna ripple delete and then i am gonna ripple delete here too and so on very well so that covers the section about how to export linear videos that will run from beginning to end 
for you to place them on a regular server or for you to place them in YouTube or Google Drive. Okay, and now all of these last part can be deleted, save. Normally, normally I do um, Apple save, but it was better to do it like that. And this is my final production. Once that all of this has been done, this is what I do to produce it. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and in the same folder where I have my project file, I'm gonna export my MP4. Okay, I'm gonna pause my recording. Okay, it's almost done. I'm gonna reveal it in the finder and there it is. Now the step that I go through for these videos at this point in time is related to um, uploading them to YouTube. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and I have covered this before but it doesn't hurt to do it again. I just grab the resulting mp4 file and I drag it to the upload section of YouTube and that starts being uploaded in there. Now part of what I do when this is taking place is that I immediately add these to a list that I am creating with all the tutorials that I have been making. I already have the address of these videos so I incorporate these into the my map before the video is even done and the only thing that I do before I move forward with the video at this point in time is make sure that the video thumbnail it is representative of what the video is about. So I'm gonna once again pause the recording to show you how this process takes place. As I explained before this takes two steps. The first step is to upload the video and once that the video has been uploaded it processes the video in order to have different compression formats or outputs and um, it does facilitate the presentation of this video in YouTube for people with different um, connection speeds. So the uploading has been done and now the processing is starting to take place. I'm gonna pause the video once more. Very well, the process is done and now we are at the moment in which I have different thumbnails that I can choose from in order to um, show them at the beginning of my YouTube video. I think that the one that I have in place right now is the one that works the best. I have the option to upload a custom thumbnail but I'm not gonna do that at this moment and I'm just gonna click on done and my video is now in YouTube. So this is my whole production process um, I hope that it has been beneficial for you to get an idea of how it goes when, when you have produced many of these videos um, and, and yeah, you feel comfortable with Camtasia. Okay, I hope that this is helpful.